Hey, how's it going? This is Jim from Red Rock Off-Road. This is uh, my 2008 JKU. It's our trail rig. We've been our trail rig for the last few years. Uh, bought it bone stock and got it to where she is today, progressively over the last few years. Uh, even some more recent modifications and upgrades to it just this past uh, summer. So as it is right now, 2008 JKU, um, frame is solid, body solid. Um, I did a floor pan in the driver's floor um every all the other floors are solid in that um so from the outside appearance wise uh smitty xrc front bumper one eight thousand uh vr winch nine inch leds tow hooks all that kind of good stuff d-rings uh line x grill led headlights led fog lights um got evo hood panel on it uh bushwhacker aluminum flares uh artec inner fender liners um just added the lights just added some art uh some rough country uh two inch wide angles and the 50 inch rough country light bar on it came out here to the desert things get real dark out here real fast at night so i wanted the extra light uh out here in arizona so so we did the up light upgrades to it adds a little extra light for the night runs uh outside continuing poison spider rocker guards we added the tube and then it's got rubicon rock rails underneath it um tires wise toyo mt 37s uh 17s pro comp rims rims don't have tpms sensors in them we swapped rims out uh, a year or two ago and never put tpms in i have them also i'll include them with the sale of the jeep uh brand new yeah L upgrades brand new falcon 2-1 shocks still have the tag on it um it's got a new front rock crawler five inch springs in the front and the back uh the original four inch teraflex springs which we were used to have a teraflex kit on it uh with that all the teraflex arms are gone and now has a brand new set of core four by four tier twos uh tier two control arms under it uh the dana 40 ultimate dana 44 up front uh, 48s e locker in the front, obviously 48s e locker in the rear. Mm, around the back, LOD Defender tire carrier setup on it. Uh, LED lights in the tail lights for the reverse lights. Um, Rotopax mount. Pretty much the outside. She's got some bumps. It is a trail rig. She's got some scratches on it. Um, probably 90% of them can be buffed out, but we just keep running it, having fun. Uh, inside, full interior. Full interior. We upgraded the radio, touchscreen. Uh, got a Vol switch, eight panel controller for the lights on the Jeep. There you go, there you go. 50, 158, 803, so. I put 7,000 miles or so on the Jeep in the last five years, and most of them have been trails, events, shows, things of that nature. Uh, extra switches down here control the lockers, as well as the switch on the far right there turns off the electric fan for water crossings if you want to shut it down. Got a smoothie built cage in it. And then we just added uh, to four points this past summer. It's got a driver pasture, four points in it. San Diego harness bar, pull floors, and then and dog hair, of course, and shop dog. Uh, seats are 2011 and newer seats for it. Got the back carpet out of it right now. Oh no, I got it in there, just package trays on in here. So there's the tailgate. The bob tailgate's good, interior wise, dusty. The trail rig, but you see down in there, they're solid, solid, all solid. Oh, yeah, uh, also upgrades we did all four kicker speakers, replaced the factory stuff with kickers. So, two new ones in the dashboard, two new ones in the rear sound bar. Um, Pretty much it. Got CB radio in it. Been a good Jeep. Just I have quite a few to choose from now. 
so yeah that one over there is a new trail rig i'm building so uh, also for sale uh the rubicon there that is a uh limited edition sahara rubicon it's got a heavy swap in it that one's 38 we're asking 38 for that one the one next to it a black lj um we're asking 35 for that one also hemi swapped both on 35s and then what else is going on uh, we're going to be selling the gladiator for 60k it's a 2020 rubicon 26,000 miles on it 35s and then next to it with the rain gear cover on it is a 2011 hemi swapped jku rubicon that we're finishing up that'll be a 35 for that one as well so that's got a 2013 charter heavy in it that little dog that thing runs and then we've got a 14 over there the geographic chemical cam camel one that one's on air lockers 37s yeah 37s lockers winches all that kind of good stuff i'll get all these things posted up on the site here pretty soon and then if you're ever out here in arizona and you want to run a jeep we have quite a few of those so check out red rock adventure rentals for jeep rentals in arizona so finishing up here back to the 08 this is the rig oh yeah you probably want to see what's under the hood so evo hood panel and let's see here there she is the fun portion uh this is a 2008 hemi it was swapped in here um, by us we, a couple years ago. I love a Hemi swap, JK. Uh, up front, recent additions and changes, updates. We went to a full two core um, aluminum race radiator in the front of it here. Um, as you see, I gotta finish up the AC stuff, but this is a true two core, like 26 by 19 uh, radiator. Um, being out here in Arizona, I don't want any cooling issues, so we upgraded and got rid of the single core crap that is most conversions run. Um, it's got a 16 inch ball electric fan, uh, and then you've got a custom built air cleaner. Um, we usually had this thing, we had this thing hooked up to a snorkel, um, but we got rid of the snorkel. The cutout's still on the hood. I still have the snorkel. Uh, if somebody wants to take it back to a snorkel, they can. Uh, just out here in the desert, just not so many water crossings as where I'm from in Michigan originally, uh, which we, a lot of East Coast wheeling, we found ourselves in a lot of water. So out here, that is important. So again, snorkel come with it. Um, you have to make a set of mounts to attach the snorkel to the light bar and go from there. But let's, let's put some fire in the tubes real quick. And yes, it has check engine lights because it has a typical gas cap codes, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but it is an emissions compliant build. So she has a, oh, radio on. Before the plane land, put up my phone, my high mode. All right, so it said it's got nav radio, satellite. Michigan, down to Tennessee, Oklahoma. Yeah, she has been all over. So, but like I said, we're on to uh, bigger ones and new projects. So, time for this one to find a home. Uh, asking 35000 for this rig. Turnkey fun toy. Thanks for watching.